Hello, welcome to another awful video. Um, today, I'm going to mess with these succulents. Now, I have a bunch of them. I've never really read up on any of it, a little bit, just by really couldn't even tell you what this is, though, other than it's a succulent. But um, today, I'm going to try to uh, repot these and I'm going to try to uh, see what we can do about maybe cleaning up some of these displays and uh, prepping them for the winter. Perhaps even propagating a few more, so because you can never have enough succulents, right? Remember this thing, the little silver thing, that's sort of a spike at one end, spoon on the other. Yeah, I'm going to use that today, and yeah. So I think let's get started and see what kind of damage I can do or don't do. I think I'm going to start up here, and this box I should have. Little terracotta pots. Uh, I've been kind of holding on to these for a while, not sure what to do with them. I think I will give them a whirl today and see what kind of, uh, see what we can do with them. I ordered these on uh, Amazon some time ago. I think it was last, uh, last year. So um, if you like these little pots, I can throw out the link below. I don't get anything from uh, that yet, Amazon. So, but, uh, yeah, I'll share with you. Why not? So I'll uh, provide the link for the manufacturer and all and on uh, Amazon. They're kind of nice. They're uh, let me hold these up. It's a little small, so but they should work for little um, succulents that I have. I'm gonna move that to the side. Like that. And I think first I'm gonna work on this big guy right here. And we're gonna see what kind of uh, damage we can do. There you go. Alrighty. So our first little succulent. I don't know if you could see that or if it's focusing. Is it focusing? There we go. So little uh, roots. So and I think I will put that up in one of these little pots here. So we'll need some uh, cactus mix. I'm using this uh, Espoma cactus mix. Again, not sponsored, but. Um, I'm not edu educated enough to uh, know what kind of uh, soil to use, so or to make my own, I should say. I should say make my own, not soil. Well, you know what I mean, kind of. There we go. All right. Break up some of those chunks. Tuck that guy right in there. There we go. Try to stand him up better. All right, got another idea. Hold on. We got a bag of uh, vermiculite here, so maybe we'll just uh, sprinkle some vermiculite on top. It'll uh, dress it up a bit, and. Uh, When I water, it shouldn't um, splash too much or cause a problem. So there you go. First little succulent, um, all potted up. And uh, you can see how it's all dressed up there. So I'm just gonna keep on going and see what other damage I can do. Now, if you're watching this and you know a lot more about succulents than I do, which is probably, hopefully, most of the gardening community, Please leave a comment below and let me know what I am doing wrong, if I'm doing something wrong or what you would do differently. Um, and maybe I can then go back and fix some of this. And little guy, I don't know if he's focusing there. Are we focusing? Yeah, there we go. So there we go. That one's done. I'm going to do something here that may repulse, freak out, or scare some of you. And again, if you're a succulent expert and you know better, which should be most of everybody because I'm an idiot, uh, please let me know. But one of the things I read on the interwebs was basically if I chop this top piece right off and I set it aside, in about a week or two, it should start forming roots of its own and then I can plant it up. So I'm going to give that a try. Okay. Well, I've done it. 
I chopped it. So, um, yeah. The other thing too is you can apparently propagate from the leaves. So I think I will try that too. And I think I will take from the bottom perhaps. Again, I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm just sort of winging this. And uh, we'll see where this leads. And a sharp little knife here. I'm going to slice that off. Now they say to let the leaves dry out as well as this top. And then you would get more, you propagate essentially the plant, just like that little one I had over there before. So, again, no idea what I'm doing here. Again, I've done a few minutes of reading on the internet, and uh, yeah, that's enough, right? I mean, a few minutes of reading, that's totally fine. You know, shouldn't have to do more research than that, right? All right, so this top part, I'm just gonna let then dry out for another week or so. And again, theoretically, it should start forming roots. Hypothetically. Let's set him aside. Now that being said, apparently the stem, you can leave and it will too start to form leaves. So I'm just gonna snip that a little more even. And it's still there. It's a little flush with the ground, but that's okay. And we're just gonna clean this up a bit. All right, so we're gonna leave that alone and let do that do its thing. I think I'm gonna do the same thing. And again, some of you may be watching this freaking the out, and that's okay. Because um, again, I don't know what I'm necessarily doing, but I'm trying. Now this one's got some um, wilting uh, leaves on the bottom. You can see that, it's all wilting there. Woo. Focus. Okay, anyways, so it's some wilting leaves. Again, I'm gonna cut them off, discard them. We'll break off some of the healthier leaves. Instead of cutting these, I'm just gonna, just gonna break them. I don't know if it's safer or better to break or not, but again, Put your comments below, let me know, tell me what an idiot I am. So I'm gonna let this sit, see if it grows new roots, and if it does, then I'll plant it back into the planter and away we go. I'm gonna take a couple of these and plant them directly into the ground, into the pots. Um, I read someplace that you're supposed to let them dry to form roots, um, and that apparently reduces the risk of disease, but this little guy, I just stuck into the thing and it started growing roots. So I'm going to give it a whirl. Let's, uh, let's see what happens here. Right. Oh, go. And there we go. So, so I planted those two up directly and we'll see what they do. In the meantime, I have a bunch of others that I think I'm going to pull out of this big pot and I'm going to pot up into the little pots and I th then I think what I'll may wind up doing is well really cleaning this out so I'll just get on with it you watch I'll edit the hell out of this so hopefully it won't be quite so boring and well, away we go baby hen and chick. Hens and chicks in here. Actually, I think I'm going to replant this one right now.
my camera cut off, um, apparently, and uh, that's why I kind of wish I had a cameraman. But I just put a bunch of hens and chicks in here, and the babies, and we'll uh, I'll water them down a little bit, and then we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully they grow. We'll find out, and if they start getting bigger, I can always take them out of this pot and transplant them into other pots, um, either individuals or maybe into the bigger uh, pots here. Now for the next part of the operation, I got a pot on a clearance discount sale for uh, five bucks. Here it is, Sprout, Nurture, Grow, Bloom. I don't know. I normally don't do silly uh, pots like this, but it was five bucks. Comes with a little saucer that was chipped, hence the reason it's five bucks. Normally it's ten dollars. Okay. So, and I will pot this up probably with the big guys in the back over here. This I thought was two, it's actually one. I'll leave that one there, pull out that weed. Now I've got this. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with this, but we'll, uh, again, because I don't know much about succulents, I'm just going to start chopping this guy apart. And if you're horrified, look away now. If you're a plant lover, look away now. And I think I can plant that up now. Okay. So I got three. I'm just going to be safe and go with the three. Again, woo! Succulent people. People who love plants, look away. In horror, as an idiot flounders around the greenhouse. I think we're gonna stick these in and again maybe I should let these dry but devil may care I'm just gonna turn around and place these in here like so there we go it's not super pretty but I think it'll work and uh, put that on my saucer there we go All right, this big thing, uh, the soil used to be a lot higher. So obviously it's compacted some. So I'm gonna redo this a bit and I'm gonna try to perhaps replant some of these into that and then we'll go from there. I don't know if these are, well there's gotta be three separate plants, right? There are three separate plants now. Okay, so I have the pot here cleaned out, and um, I've uh, put back in some of the old soil on the bottom, and I've put uh, new fresh soil on the top. So, and what I'm going to do now is try to clean up some of those um, succulents that I pulled out of the um, pot earlier, and I'm going to replant them in here as well as replant them into the big bowl.
So there you go. Uh, I've butchered, sliced, diced, chopped, massacred, mutilated, and um, otherwise uh, propagated succulents. Um, again, I'm an idiot. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sort of winging this. I'm learning from my mistakes, I hope. Um, and I found a great many uses for this tool. So, which is good in working uh, all this stuff. Um, I need to buy more river rock or decorative succulent stone there. I need to water everything still. And um, we'll see what happens come the springtime. So hopefully I still have lots of succulents alive. Hopefully I have a lot more growing and propagating. And, and hopefully all this will be wonderful and growing and I can do another video on succulents next year. And until then, you guys have a good day. Farewell, bon voyage. Please like and subscribe below. Um, click on the bell icon to be notified when I post out more awful videos. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Buh bye bye